welcome to this video series where I'll walk you through how to create your own blog using the PageKit CMS. For those of you not familiar with PageKit, it's an open source CMS that came out about two years ago. You could perhaps look at it as an alternative to WordPress. This is a beginner level tutorial, so we won't be doing much coding. We'll just be doing some setup and configuration using the PageKit admin. Before we begin, I just want to remind you to please like my video if you like it. And if you don't, uh, please share your comments below in, in the comment section. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let's get started. Once you have a clean, successful install of PageKit, this is what you should be seeing. Notice on the top right corner, the blog is already set up. So if we click into it, you can see here's the blog. For the first step, we'll want to replace the uh, home landing page with the blog page. So let's do that. Go to um, the admin panel. So after your domain, just do a slash admin. It'll ask you to log in, which I already did, and it'll take you directly to this dashboard as you see here. Next, click on the hamburger menu in the top left and choose site. So here you'll notice that there's a little house icon and that represents that this page is the front page, which is currently the home page. Now we want the blog to be the home page. So to do that, all you do is click right there where it says set as front page. And you'll notice that the icon has moved down here now and it changes have already automatically been saved. Now, if we jump back to the site, hit refresh, there you go. So the root domain now goes to the blog page. You may notice the uh, home and blog links above um, it's up to you if you want to leave them there, but for this example, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. So we'll go back to the admin panel and um, go ahead and click on home. And then right here, there's a checkbox that says hide in menu. Click that, then press save. And you'll see here, it'll signify that it's hidden. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for blog. Click on the hide in menu checkbox, click save, close, and that's hidden as well. Let's go back to the site and refresh to see. And they're gone. Next, let's take a look at how you would add a blog post or update the current blog post. So head over to the admin panel, click on the top left menu and select blog. Here you can see the current blog post and we'll go ahead and add a new one. Since this is a food blog, foodmelt.com is the domain I'm using. Let's just go ahead and uh, create one for, uh, for some food. So I'll do uh, zesty artichoke pizza. I got that from the Pyology website. So let me just go ahead and copy the description there. There you go. Um, then you can also type in an excerpt if you want, otherwise it'll just use what's in the description. Click add image, select image, and here you go, I have a photo already uploaded. There it is. The slug will be generated based off the title, or you can change it, uh, customize it if you'd like. So my status is draft. You can see here there's four statuses total. We're going to select publish and the author. We just have one author for now, but if you have multiple people writing for your blog, then, then they can, uh, the admin has the right to assign this. So what else do we have? You can set the time it publishes. We'll just do it now. And that's it. Let's hit save. Go back to the site, refresh. And there you go, zesty artichoke pizza. And that's how you add and update your blog post. Another topic I wanna to cover is how you would um, set up and uh, monitor or actually maintain comments. So let's go back to the admin. And um, here's, our, here's our post that we have. So right over here, there are tabs that say comments and settings. So let's click on settings first. And here you can click on the comments sub tab 
and have some uh, options right here like require their email. You can close comments after a certain amount of days if you'd like. Um, or you can disable comments altogether. If you wanted to do that, we'd go back to uh, the post and uncheck that button right there. Uh, if you, when you, and if you want to review comments, there's a tab up here called comments. You click on that and it would show a bunch of comments. Uh, let's just add one real quick and see what that looks like. How about, uh, yummy, I ate this for dinner last night. Hit submit. There's my comment. That's what it looks like. Go back to the admin, hit refresh, and there it is. So you can manage your commentary, you can delete them uh, or leave them, whatever you'd like. Uh, another quick note about um, blog posts. You notice there was a settings tab right here. And you can, um, you, can, can, you can decide how you want the permalink to look like. So this is the, the URL for your post. So I just have an ID, for, it says numeric right there, so it's an ID. And um, let me just go to the main post real quick. And right there, you'll see blog slash the, the blog post ID, which is two. So if you go here and you change it to say the name, hit save. We'll refresh this and you'll see the URL change. Whoops, you gotta go back, refresh this because the URL changed, the other one didn't exist. Here's a new one. So that's how you change um, your permalinks. You can also set how many posts you wanna show up per page. And oh, you can also disable comments here as well as in the um, individual post settings. So th here's another area where you can disable comments. And that is pretty much it for, for blog post comments. Before we wrap up this uh, tutorial series for PageKit and how to create a blog in PageKit, we'll go through uh, some quick brief settings to customize your site a little bit. So let me head back to the dashboard and the, uh, actually I'm at the home page again. So how about this? Let's, um, Let's change the logo. That's really easy, right? So instead of saying page kit, let's go back to admin, go to dashboard, and head over to system, themes, customize. And um, there are some sub naps right here you'll see on the left. So we'll click on general. My title, and here you can see my title is called food mail. There is a logo here called page kit so let me go ahead and and select a new logo um, before we select a new logo let's say you don't have access to any graphic designers or any any uh graphic logos at all all you could do right now i guess what you could do instead is just click delete hit save and it will use the uh, title name for your blog so if you're in a pinch and you just need to change that that's how you do it but let's go ahead and add a custom logo for our blog called Food Melt. So I have a Food Melt logo right there, already uploaded, so let's select that. And that's what, there it is. So we'll hit save, go back to the home page, and we're done. This is our Food, food Melt blog. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you liked it. Please feel free to subscribe and, and like this video and I'll try to make more in the future. Thank you for watching, bye.